Let's take a look in Outlook 2019 and how we can export just our contacts rather than all of our email contacts and calendar. We just want to export our contacts. So if I click on contacts, you can see I've just got the one here. I don't want to export that to a file and that way I can back it up or I can mail that off to somebody else and they can have all my contacts. So let's go to the top where it says file and let's choose where it says open and export and then import export and then we're going to choose the export to a file let's go ahead and click next make sure we choose the pst option click next and from here we just want to choose our contacts and we've got a lot of different things to choose from in here but you may only see one thing you may just see uh, what it looks like here but if you have multiple accounts you may see multiple things there all right, so all I want to do is just export my contacts. So I'll click on contacts. Now, if I have any subcontact folders, which I don't, then and I want those as well, I can choose the box that says include subfolders, but I don't have any of those. So let's make sure I just select the contacts, click next, and then let's click on browse, and we'll call this contacts, and we'll choose our location. I'm going to choose the desktop so it could, because it's easy to find that way. Now, if this is the first time you've done this, you don't need to worry about the options. It doesn't matter which one you choose. It'll all end up looking the same. However, if you export this a second time and you want to overwrite the files from the first time, you can choose whether or not to replace, allow, or do not export any duplicates. We'll go ahead and click Finish. From here, you can go ahead and protect your file with a password if you'd like. And in my case, I don't need to. Let's go ahead and click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and we see there's our contact. So if I right-click on that and choose Properties, we can see there is some data in there. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to open that contacts file just to make sure it shows my data. So I'll go to File, and I'll go to Choose to Open and Export again. But this time I'm going to choose the Open Outlook Data File. We'll go to the Desktop, and we'll choose Contacts. There we go. So now our contacts have been selected. And we click on the Contacts button at the bottom. And from here, I'm going to choose Contacts from an Outlook data file. Now, I don't see anything in that one, so that must not be the one. We'll click this other one. Oh, there it is. Outlook data file, and there's my contact. Now, if I don't want to see it anymore, I've got something like this one that doesn't have anything in it. You can right-click on it and choose to delete or close the file. And now it's gone. And once again, there's my Outlook data file, and there's my regular contacts. And then if I have another account in here, like I do, then you'll see a contacts for the other account. And that's how you export and open contacts in Outlook 2019.